Xbox's Game Pass service is having another strong year. It's still the simplest way to keep up with gaming without breaking the bank, and the service is constantly evolving, with new games added each month, and many of the titles are available on multiple Xbox consoles and PC via Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Here is our list of top 10 Xbox Game Pass games on October 2022. Number 10. Two Point Campus. Both the more modern Two Point Campus and the older Two Point Hospital are good games. With the release of Two Point Campus, developer Two Point Studios has created one of the most captivating and entertaining management simulations currently on the market. Its inclusion as an Xbox Game Pass Day 1 launch only enhances the experience for players. Manage a school of your choice by delving into budgets, organizing social activities, and keeping track of tuition. You have the option of creating one of the best educational institutions the world has ever seen, or you can give up to chaos and create a learning environment that focuses on fun, laziness, or medieval madness. Number 9. Death's Door. Death's Door is a cute little souls-like game. You play as a raven who works as a kind of grim reaper for the bureaucratic arm of the afterlife. It's your job to adventure in the world and claim the lives of a handful of bosses. The world of Death's Door is charming, as are its characters, with excellent dungeons to explore and puzzles to solve. There are also giant enemies who will test both your skills and patience. Death's Door, on the other hand, has a friendly aura about it. It wants you to succeed and does a good job of easing you in with simple enemy and boss patterns. It's a great, challenging Game Pass game to start with before moving on to more difficult titles. Number 8. Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5 is a decent entry into the series, and often underrated in comparison to previous titles. If you played Far Cry 2, 3, or 4, you know what to expect. Similar game, different storyline, but mostly follows the same formula. The main reason people rate it lower than Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 is because by this point, they've grown tired of the same old formula. There's a basic but functional stealth system of silent melee takedowns, silent weapons like bows, throwing knives, and silenced guns, and enemies raising the alarm if they see you or find a dead body. You can conquer outposts either by going in slow and methodical, or you can just storm in guns blazing and mow everyone down with an MG. The combat is fun. Controls are pretty smooth, most weapons are satisfying to use, and neither you nor the enemy are bullet sponges. Sometimes you will have to deal with enemy helicopters, or you can fly one yourself to rain death from above. Number 7. Power Wash Simulator. Power Wash Simulator is the perfect game to sit on your couch and space off to. As the name suggests, you're a professional power washer, and your job is to use your washing tools to obliterate grease, grime, and goop off of vehicles, buildings, and even entire playgrounds. A majority of the levels are extensive, often taking well over an hour to scrub to 100% and gain that valuable 5-star rating. And with 38 jobs in total, there's a significant amount to keep you busy. The more stars you collect in career mode, the more complex the levels you unlock. Earning both stars and cash is how you progress, allowing you to splash your earnings on better power washer equipment to make future jobs that much easier. Number 6. Assassin's Creed Origins. Assassin's Creed Origins marks a new beginning for the series as this open-world prequel successfully merges the old and new. While not perfect, the result is still a deeply satisfying Egyptian playground that will revitalize your love for a series that was starting to fall by the wayside. The most notable of changes Origins makes to the Assassin's Creed formula is the overhauled combat system, the enemy AI is much smarter and tougher, and they will gang up on you quickly, forcing players to no longer rush into combat haphazardly. Attacking a fort becomes more about stealth and planning out your attacks, making you feel more like an assassin that must stick in the shadows. What makes Origins gameplay all the better is how much choice it leaves up to the player. While stealth will prove to be a useful tool, it is in no way required. I highly recommend this game. Number 5. Death Loop. If you didn't think you needed a hyper-violent interactive version of Groundhog Day, you clearly haven't played Deathloop its ever-repeating day, doomed to loop until you can break it by murdering eight targets, is a playground for impactful gunplay, absorbing investigation work, satisfying experimentation, and even tense multiplayer standoffs. Developer Arcane Studios' precise calibration of these pieces make Deathloop an intricately built clockwork machine that doesn't so much quietly hum, but rather confidently roars despite using a live, die, repeat structure, it's best to think of Deathloop as a temporal metroidvania rather than anything close to a roguelike. 
Its chief currency is information, as you chase down objectives and unearth new leads, you'll discover clues that help you to unlock doors and exciting new opportunities in areas you've previously visited, both in time and space. Those areas are, in arcane tradition, intricately detailed and dense with personality. Number 4. Stardew Valley. This is easily the most relaxing game on Game Pass. All you do is plant seeds, care for animals, mine some rocks, and befriend the villagers. There's plenty of drama to be had, but at the end of the day, you're still going to pass out in your farmhouse and get ready to plant more strawberries the next morning. And there is multiplayer option to invite one to three players to join you in the valley online. Players can work together to build a thriving farm, share resources, and improve the local community. Number 3. A Memoir Blue. A Memoir Blue was developed by Cloisters Interactive and the game describes itself as an interactive poem about a superstar swimmer whose incredibly close relationship with her single mother shapes her dreams, aspirations, and life. Across six chapters, protagonist Miriam explores her upbringing through deeply allegoric and metaphorical means, as she dives deep to uncover, unlock, and reconstruct memories she loves, barely remembers, and has occasionally tried to hide. I in terms of expectations. The poem element the developer promises may not be what you expect. There isn't a single word uttered by the lead characters. Admittedly, it's kind of the point, something cleverly proved later in the experience, but the label doesn't accurately portray what a memoir blue is for those buying this game expecting a more literary adventure. Number 2. Inside. Inside is the second of Playdead's minimalist side-scrollers. Whereas Limbo, the studio's first game, showcased the dangers of nature, Inside is all about the horror humans can inflict upon one another. You play as a small boy in a red shirt investigating a giant factory slash secret lab. You'll explore, platform, and puzzle solve your way through a variety of areas, and most likely meet a swift and unexpected death a few times along the way. Inside is grim and dark. It's scary, but beautiful, like the lure of an angler fish. It pulls at your curiosity enough that you'll keep ambling forward, through the horrors, until you finally see the credits, Inside is all about its haunting mood and visuals, making it an experience you can't quite explain without giving it away. So take advantage of your Game Pass subscription and jump into Inside fresh and unspoiled. Number 1. Death Stranding. Death Stranding is a game that won't appeal to everyone, despite its 3A, groundbreaking approach to game design and narrative, Kojima's latest title is an atypical affair, but one that is without a doubt, worth checking out, especially now that the game is available on the Game Pass. Norman Reedus isn't the only big name present in Death Stranding either. The title is brimming with celebrity talent, including the likes of Mads Mikkelsen, Galimero del Toro, and video game celebrity, Troy Baker, amongst others that help bring the world of Death Stranding to life. Building up Sam's stamina and developing skills that make it simpler for him to navigate the treacherous and terrifying game world, completing deliveries, and bringing lost nodes together within the chiral network make up the main gameplay cycle in Death Stranding. It's a must-play if you have already played Kojima's other titles. And that concludes the top 10 best Xbox Game Pass games for October 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please comment below. Smash that like button to show your support for the channel, and if you're new here, why not subscribe? Every week, we upload new videos, and you don't want to miss out. I'll see you in the next video.